there is just wow that is uh, some good stuff you picked here and it was 50 miles of gravel and mud Hello beautiful people, my name is Amanda Zitto. This is my brother Gary. <laughs> if you are new here, I make motorcycle travel vlogs, how to's, and general encouragement for you to get out and do the thing. And you might be wondering why we're in a hotel room. So we're gonna go back in time a bit and show you why we're here. <laughs> I think we've decided that we're going to try our hand at just going south. We're not gonna go to Leslie Gulch, it's just there's too much water. We have accepted our fate. We can't come up with any kind of alternative plan. Everything is covered in this giant rainstorm right now, and we would rather get moving than spend money for another night in this town, even if we, if we could find a room, because evidently there's a game happening and all the hotels are booked up. Anyway, here we go. <laughs> stopped at the Sucker Creek State Natural Area to have our little fancy feast picnic thing. It is quite chilly. The rain has given us a small break, knock on wood, so that we can have our snack and keep moving. The mud hasn't been terrible, but there is definitely mud. But it's so worth it. It's so beautiful here. Oh my gosh. I really want to come back when it hasn't been raining. <laughs> I feel like this would be a really cool place to spend like three or four days. Just like find a spot, base camp, and explore. Yeah. Just wow, okay. Hey, good job. Wow, that is uh, some good stuff you picked here. Oh my god.
we got, we left the hotel room kind of in a rush this morning. Not really this morning. No. At noon. <laughs> uh, at noon. <laughs> <laughs> like literally at noon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it turns out that the road that we thought was going to be nice and graveled all the way through to Jordan Valley was kind of muddy and mucky in the middle. Yeah. Sucker Creek was beautiful. That was definitely worth riding in the rain all the way there. <laughs> <laughs> and then it was a little ways after Sucker Creek we hit some cakey mud. Yeah, gumbo. <laughs> <laughs> I decided to take the low route, well, the low route off of, of the road because I sp like was like, well, if I go through as much rocks as possible, that will give me some kind of traction through the mud. I was definitely slippery, and I definitely had my landing gear out the whole time. <laughs> but I made it through, and brother decided to take the high route. It looked much better up there. It was not. <laughs> <laughs> it was much worse, in fact. <laughs> anyway, I think tomorrow's goal is just to get to the Alvord. Yeah. To get to Fields. And then brother is going to try to head home on Sunday. I can't believe it's already Friday. This week has been gone so far. Gone, gone by. Oh my gosh. I am so tired. <laughs> this week has been going by so fast. <laughs> Little did I know that the first campsite in, outside of Maupin was like going to be the best campsite. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're going to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> We will see you guys in the morning. <laughs> I just thought about, I don't know where we're going to get breakfast. <laughs> mm. Hello, sweet thing. Huh? Oh, thank you. Good morning, beautiful people from Jordan Valley, Oregon. As you can see by the gray skies and the wet slab, it is still raining. <laughs> Our goals today are to go see the Pillars of Rome, maybe wave at the playa. Since it's been raining, we're not going to be able to ride on the playa. It's just going to be too mucky. And then we've made an executive decision. Since it's still going to be cold and wet pretty much everywhere, we're going to aim to get to a hotel room in Burns, Oregon today. It's going to be a bit of a stretch, but we can do it, right? You supposed to give the thumbs up now. Yeah, <laughs> it's not gonna get any better. So let's do the thing. the pillars of Rome <laughs> and even though it's raining it's still pretty awesome
Hey brother, mm. it's cold. It's kind of cold. <laughs> <laughs> to the Albert. Maybe not the way that we thought we would and maybe not as dry as we thought we would be, but we did. We did it. Through a ton of mud to get here in the rain and very, very cold. We stopped in fields and got some gas and some hot cocoa to try to warm ourselves up. And here we are. Obviously we can't go out onto the Playa because of how wet it is, but we wanted to come and see it because we came all of this way. We came, we saw, and now we're gonna haul butt to Burns to where I booked our hotel room for the night. And I'm very excited because my arms are wet up to my elbows. <laughs> what do you think, brother? Was it worth it? Worth it! <laughs> smart yesterday. We knew that we wouldn't be able to camp because of all the rain so we tried to book a room in advance in Burns and we got there at like, what was it, 10 p.m.? Mm, yeah, like 9.30, 10. 9.30, 10 p.m. I booked a room with double beds. We got there and the guy was like, well I don't have any, I don't have no rooms like that so you're just gonna have to give them two singles. It's like, at that point I was so cold too. But I didn't care. I was like, as long as I don't have to pay any more than I've already paid, I don't care. And so they gave us two separate keys. We went upstairs. My room was okay. I mean, there was no Wi-Fi and they were advertised as having Wi-Fi. So that was kind of upsetting on top of already not getting what I paid for. And then Gary's room wasn't even made up. They hadn't even cleaned it yet. We did quite a bit of deliberating, got a little bit warmer got brain cells moving again, called a couple of other hotels in town, found a new hotel to stay in, and I went downstairs and was a mean person and demanded my refund. And uh, admittedly, the owner lady was very kind about it and understanding. Um, evidently, she's trying to t train people about how to run the hotel and they overbooked, um, which is why I didn't get the room that I paid for. <laughs> But she was very understanding about it, gave me my refund, and we came to this hotel, which is so much better. Yes. <laughs> I, I hate that I had to be that person, but like it all compounded on itself and it was like way too much. Um, especially the no Wi-Fi and your room yeah. not being clean. That yeah. was not okay. So I'm very glad that we made the decision, ended up here last night, slept way better than I'm sure we would have there. Yeah, it was just a better decision all overall. Yesterday was, whew. The Rome pillars were very cool. It's one of those things where if you, the longer that you look at it, the cooler it is. Like we first showed up and of course it's like raining and pouring. So I'm just like, nah. <laughs> but we made the effort and got off the bikes to take pictures and that kind of stuff. And the longer that I looked at it, the more cool it was. And we took this side dirt road to get to fields and it was 50 miles of gravel and mud 
and going 14 to 20 miles per hour the whole time. It took us two hours to do 50 miles. Intense and uh, like this the whole time. And then like your stomach coming up into your chest, into your throat every time your back did a wiggle. <laughs> And we got to Fields right after they closed the kitchen, so we couldn't get food in Fields. We got gas. That was very good. They made us hot chocolate. It was very nice. But, like, by the time that we got to that hotel, like, the first hotel, my hands were, like, shaking. I couldn't feel my legs. My legs were totally numb all the way down to my toes. I checked. They're still there, so. <laughs> and now it is, and now it is the parting day. Brother has to go back to Montana. Can you tell the internet how terrible it is to travel with me? It's horrible. Mm -hmm. Never do it. Mm -hmm. I made you do stupid things. <laughs> <laughs> I have to go in mud and dirt. In the rain. In the rain. <laughs> Stay in hotel rooms. <laughs> <laughs> I was promised camping. <laughs> I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure that you hit that like and subscribe button if you did. If you would like to support the channel for as little as $1 a month, you can get early access to these videos over on Patreon ad-free before the rest of the world. If that's not up your alley, that is totally okay. I appreciate you guys just for being here every single week and watching these videos. And question for my end screen crew. Let me know if you have some um, stories about dealing with the mud. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys later. Okay, bye. <laughs>